give you praise. You were worthy. Beautiful God. Uh -huh. There is none like you in heaven and the earth. None like you in holiness. I welcome all of you to Caris Conference 2015. Someone would ask what Caris Conference is. Actually, the word Caris means grace. It's a Greek word which means grace. So, Caris Conference is simply Grace Conference. And it came about last year. And by the grace of God, this is the second edition of Caris Conference. And it's awesome. It's actually a word conference. It's a conference where we study and learn the word of God. Just like the way we have other musical concerts, musical programs. This one is a word program. You come and you listen to the word of God. You learn the word of God. Remember in the book of Acts, Paul said that I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among the saints. So it's important to get to know what this word of grace is, to grow in it. That is why Caris Conference came about, to enlighten God's people, bringing the body of Christ, the consciousness of the supernatural, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. conference is about the word of God study about the word of God and as you can see the program is going on today and it's super awesome we've had the prayer session the Caris choir had ministered and we've had the poetry recital by precious about your presence how could I be located by such goodness and be filled with such happiness where on earth could I find such loving kindness and be so overwhelmed by the fullness of glory only in your presence? In your presence, I find joy unspeakable. Even in times that I seemed incapable, I stayed in your way that was infallible, making me so unpredictable by those who planned for me the unthinkable. In your presence, I get the power and authority to overcome the dirty plans of the enemy, his ability, nothing to write home about because he is filthy with lies. And one kind of lie is that I am still filthy, wanting to take my mind away from the fact that there is now no enmity between you and I. Your presence and I has become one entity that kills. I don't have to wait for joy to come in the morning because I find pleasures forevermore and your strength being made available to me therefore I reign in life because the victory has been won as I daily on your love for me I need not say songs like in your presence in your presence, Lord, I want to be in your presence. Lord, I want to be 
No, I speak forth from the board of heaven. Your presence makes me enjoy heaven right here on earth. Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, your presence is heaven to me. The presence of God is what we carry. The presence of God is where we are. The presence of God is where we function from. And it's awesome. Awesome poetry by PZ. And we are thanking God. The first sermon came by Emmanuel Saba about being conscious of who you are, the grace of God, the grace of God and the law. We are now under grace, not under law. Hallelujah. It's awesome. 70 years old, 80. You don't expect him to use that same bicycle. If you give me a bicycle, give me a bigger one. Hallelujah. That is what the Lord came to do. It finished its purpose. That is why here I thought, after saying that, for what the Lord could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, I thought that God would say that, but God upgraded the law. No, He said that. But God sending his own son, which means that Christ is different from the law. Hallelujah. Christ is greater than the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For what the law could not do, it was weakened by the flesh. Mm. Because the law was external, mm. it was not internal. Mm. But Christ, being the son of God, he was sent mm. to reproduce the life of God in men. Hallelujah. So that the laws of God will not come from outside life. A TV and a remote, but rather it will hey. come from the inside out. So you produce the life of God effortless, effortless. The second Hallelujah. presentation Praise from Stephen Owusu. Oh Praise God. And we are and we know that this is going to be super awesome. People are enjoying the program. The place is almost filled up. People are taking notes. People's minds are being renewed. Doubts are being dissolved by the power of the Holy Ghost at work here. It's super awesome. The grace of God is at work at Caris Conference 2015. Hello, you're welcome to Caris Conference 2015. My name is Gifty and you are? I'm David. How did you hear about Caris Conference 2015? Um, I'm, I'm here to expect the favor of God and then the grace of God upon my life. That is what I'm here to expect at uh, Christ Conference Center. Hallelujah. So, so we believe that you enjoy yourself here. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I'll enjoy myself. So when you hear about it next year, are you going to come? Definitely, I'll be here. We thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello. Hello. So Dorothy, this is Caris Conference 2015. The program is ongoing. I want to know what your expectation is and how far you have enjoyed the program so far. Oh, okay. Um, when I was coming, I came with the expectation of getting to know more about grace and about righteousness and then um, going to teach my friends too. But so far, I think that what I've heard, what I've, what I've, what I've come to experience, I've gained more, I've learned more, and then I'll be able to teach my friends more and I'll She'll be able to teach her friends what she came to learn here. That is why Impact Caris Conference is making in the life of people. We learn and we go out and we teach others what we learn. Bringing the body of Christ to the consciousness of the supernatural. Amen. I think we'll take another interview before we close. Uh, I just want to know how far you have seen the program and the impact it's made in your life so far. Oh, it's very nice. The program is nice. It's nice. I like it. We are not creating atmosphere. We 
are that very atmosphere. Listen, we are not appearing in the presence of God. We are that very presence of God. Everybody who has been born has been met as a You have met God in Listen, this is the meeting of us. Next year is going to come on and has come to stay. Last year was great, this year was super great, and next year and the years ahead are going to be super great. So keep it in mind, because Carrie's Conference will bring the body of Christ to the consciousness of the supernatural. You are blessed. I'm talking about grace, I'm talking about Jesus. And when I'm talking about Jesus, I'm talking about you. Because the Bible says in 1 John 4, 17, that as he is, so as you. Listen, your definition is Christ. Who you are is not what you see yourself doing outside. Who you are is what you are in your inside. You see, the Bible says we consider not the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. The spiritual is not seen from the physical, but we know the spiritual is our essence. And out of that realm, we function. So when the Bible says that work in the spirit, it's saying that function from that realm. It is not a religious act of work. Because we don't want to make a mistake. No, working in the spirit is functioning from here. And function from here is not function from your belly, but function from your spirit. And how do you function from your spirit? Responding to the word of God. The word of God is the complete essence of you. When we're talking about righteousness, we're talking about the very essence of God. You see, righteousness existed before sin appeared. So people limit righteousness to sinlessness. No! Righteousness has nothing to do with sin in this regard. But righteousness empowers us to even reign over sin. And by the grace of God, Caris Conference 2015 has come to a wonderful end. And we'd like to talk to some few people about how they feel about the program. So first of all, I think Benjamin Boy is here. Benjamin, how was Caris Conference 2015? It was very nice. I enjoyed myself and I'm really happy to be here this year. So next year, God willing, when we invite you? Yeah, I'll be here and I'll be here with a lot of people because uh, it's very great. And I'm Oh, that's great. So, God bless you. We'll see you next year. And I think, um, yes, how was Carrie's Conference 2015? It was amazing. I mean, the whole program was so amazing. The word of God that came was just on point. The doctrine of righteousness. Exactly. I just love Carrie's. So, next year, when we invite you, I believe you're going to be here. Of course. There's no way I'm going to miss Carrie's for anything. No way. We thank God. So I have a, a special friend. Okay. She's shy. Oh. She's shy. So I think we'll take a few one. I think we'll take a few from Polio. <laughs> okay. So now po, um, this is Carrie's Conference 2015. The doctrine of righteousness. What have you learned today? Actually, it's so marvelous. It's so mar marvelous. I know. I will encourage people to always to, to join their service, and they will enjoy. It. They will really enjoy. It. They will know whom they really are. They will know whom they really are in Christ. Yeah, that's what I would say. Hallelujah! They will know who they really are in Christ. So next year, I believe we'll invite you. Next year will be. Next year will be. Next year will be so. Mwah. Next year will be at the conference center. Next year will be at the conference center. Sure. In the stadium. <laughs> Even where? Stadium. Hey, stadium. <laughs> Accra Sports Stadium, that's next year. So we are happy about Carrie's Conference 2015. The Lord has been so gracious, it's been so good. The doctrine of righteousness. Righteousness is a gift from God. It is our nature. It is, it is who we are. It doesn't have to do with your deed. It doesn't have to do with your act. It is something imputed into your spirit. It doesn't have to do with sin. It is the nature of God given to us. That is what we learned today. And able minister. I just caught able minister. And I just want to talk to him a little bit. And when I finish, I'm going to talk to the music director as well. So what did you, how did you find Caris Conference 2015? And their teachings on the doctrine of righteousness. Oh, it's, it is awesome. Everything about today's program is awesome. I mean, the doctrine of righteousness, unveiling the rightness of God uh, to 
to the congregation is absolutely awesome. Like, I can see that doubts are being dissolved today. Religious mindset has been casted out. As the Bible said, that when you are preaching these things, uh, uh, strongholds are being uprooted today. So I thank God for Caris Conference 2015. And I know that Caris Conference, for me, I saw the... For me, I saw the whole auditorium being filled with the glory of God. The seats were not empty. Every seat was filled to the glory of God. Next year, Caris Conference, we are hosting it live at the Accra International Conference Center to the glory of God. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to catch up with Dorothy, the music director for Caris Conference for last year and for this year. And she's a mighty woman of God. You can trust me. It's not about the song, so... If she picks the song, she's spirit-led. If she sings the song, she's spirit-led. That is Dorothy for you. I mean, how has it been, being the music director, going for rehearsals all those times, and the awesome ministrations through the spirit today, has it been so far? Well, it's been wonderful, especially knowing that you're doing it for God. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And then, you know, actually, when it comes to Kare's word, as in, when it comes to Caris itself, it talks about the grace. And it, grace talks about Jesus himself. Do you get it? And Jesus is being revealed. Do you get it? And guess what? He lives in me. And then I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, you know? Hallelujah. Exactly. I'm so excited. So I just, wanna, I just want everyone to know that this is the best place to be. Exactly. This is the best place to be and no way. And, and trust me, I just want to acknowledge the commitment of Dorothy and her spirit for the things of God. It's so admirable. And I know the Lord is taking her places. Hallelujah. Thank you so much you. for being part of Caris Conference. You. And I think I so right after the program, we have Pastor Eric Okutu from ICGC. So Pastor, you're welcome to Caris at Gospel Ministry. And this is Caris conference 2015 the theme is the doctrine of righteousness i just want to know what you learned today and what you have to tell other people the body of christ about righteousness today um i think um the conference was very successful and um, the message as we had is just the message that i think our time needs um, um we've been hearing messages over the time but I think this was a message really on time, especially for a time in the season that we are in. Um, personally, um, I have heard the message preached over and over again. But, you know, there is, there is this light that is thrown upon the word that makes you see how simple it is. And for me today, I think that was exactly what I got. And I'm living here definitely to preach grace and nothing else. So that um, our world will just come into the fold knowing that everything that they need has already been provided for them to the glory of the living God. Everything we need has been provided to the glory of God. So, God will next year, Caris Conference 2016. I believe when we invite you, you're going to tell people, you see, if you partake of something which is sweet, I believe you'd want someone else to also partake of it. So, next year, I believe you're going to inform other people about Caris Conference for them to also come and take part of what you had. Definitely, I'm going to do that. Um, like Pastor Riley said when he was speaking, so that when you eat of something, you buy watch it from a place and you eat it. And watching from Antia Amelia is nicer than watching from Antia. Exactly, it's worse. And he said that you definitely go and recommend others to it. It's a, it's a, it was a good conference. I was really blessed, and there was a lot that was happening. And um, you know, anytime God is raising, raising a new breed of people. He uses very unique people, and I think um, um, uh, Pastor Stephen is, is such kind of a breed. I was so amazed. It's been ages since I last met him. Right after JSS, I never met him again, and it was awesome seeing minister. I was like, man, this brand right from the fire. So it's seeing him today. Thank you so much, Pastor. God bless you. So, Caris Conference 2015, we'll see you next year. God bless you.